Hello everyone, my name is Harshan, and welcome back to Let's Play Dishonored 2. So, when we last left off, we got on a boat called the Dreadful Whale, and now, I was correct, this is where we're going to get the magic powers for Emily. Now, the text said something's off. Now, we're in our room, wants us to explore the whale. Door's blocked. Oh well, guess I can't do anything. Whoa. Yeah, this looks a lot nicer than than the first one. The first one was kind of dull looking. This is the void. You're about to, about to meet. Yes, you are. Hey. The outsider. Yeah, this guy's... This guy's like a... Some sort of powerful spirit... Who enjoys watching... Humans. Yeah, see that back there? It's a weird place. Now this is where I choose to get the magic. In the first game, you didn't have the choice whether you did or didn't want to take it. I don't know why you would. I guess there's probably an achievement. I'm not doing that. I cannot do this without magic. So I'm going to take it. Now, like, the difference between Emily's and Corvo's magic is that they have completely different abilities. Corvo has his abilities from the first game. This is how I'm going to save my father and reclaim the throne. Like, Corvo has the exact same ability and perks set from the first game. However, this one, they give you four upgrades. The first game only gave you, like, two upgrades. There we go. This is a mechanical heart. Do you remember? That's her mom, by the way. Come on. Okay. What this does is it lets you seek out runes and bone charms. Runes will let you upgrade your abilities while bone charms provide minor effects. The heart can also, if you left trigger while looking at the environment, it will just tell you something about it like this. Okay. And if you point it at a person, it will tell you something about them. Now, this has always been like her mother's heart or something or other. Who is Delilah really? How could she? I don't understand. But it never outright told you, and this is kind of weird just being pushed in you like that. Pushed at you. We also get some backstory on him, which again, there was no information on him at all in the first game. So it's kind of weird having all that just thrown at you at once. When you get done at the Institute, disable the Watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. Okay. We'll take the skip to the shore when you're ready. So 
So also, when it comes to killing, when it comes to going after primary targets, uh, e.g. the crown killer, in the first game, whether you killed them or non-killed them, didn't kill them, non-lethal, I combined words there, whether you did or you didn't was actually not all that important. Uh, ah, crap, hang on. Like, really only killing like soldiers and civilians contributed to your chaos level. But killing these people do do that now, but I'm not sure if there's any plus side to not killing them. Probably gonna cut a lot of this stuff out just so I can get to it because I'm already at 15 minutes, so ready. Let's go see the streets where my father grew up. Off we go then. This game is really heavy in dialogue. It's quite annoying. Yeah, she says she doesn't want to be recognized, but she's wearing a purple and gold face mask, which is the two colors mostly associated with royalty. So that's obviously not gonna. No one's gonna suspect her, apparently. But that's just me. I do like the steampunk aspect of. Oh, frame rate dropping. I don't like it. I look this way, it's better. And you forced me to look at it. Okay, that's cool. Like, uh, frame rate, why? Sounds like a good time. So, I'm working on getting a capture card. I've been getting some people telling me that it looks kind of like motion blur in the video. There's no motion blur. That I got words don't work. Uh, there is no motion blur in this game, as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go to this alchemist lady. Try to find out about the crown killer. Okay. Welcome to Karnaka, stranger. Yeah. You know the skipper? The dreadful whip. Uh, no, maybe there is. The know, maybe there is motion bar. Let me check that out. Maybe one of the uh, recent reporters. No, yeah, there isn't. She's still there. I can ask her friend. Yeah, these are. Hello there. Yeah, this is the docks, it looks like. Okay, boiling docks. I'm just gonna take that real quick. I remember that one. Okay, this is one This is one of the side quests I was talking about. I don't remember her name, but... Oops. I've been playing a lot of Division. Don't know why. Okay. So there's a lot of money... Like, you use money... Uh, let me start over. You can get money, and then you can use the money at shops to buy items like crossbow bolts, bullets, runes if they have them. I have something that might interest you. Mindy, okay. My name's Mindy Blanchard, and you look like someone who goes into places where you don't belong. Want to help me with something? You scratch my ass, I'll scratch yours. I need to get to Adermeyer Institute. Can you help me with that? Yeah. I know how to do that. You go get a body for me, and I'll help you with your problem. Don't worry. He's already dead. The overseers are holding him at their outpost. They think he was a kind of a witch. I want the body for reasons of my own. Sneak in and take I mean, she just then buries it, is all she does. The dentist office near there. I'll think about it. Okay. Hostile territory? Yep. Basically, it's just saying that there's a bunch of different ways you can do something. You can go through the wall of light by turning it off. Go through nearby apartments. Go through blood-fly-infested building. 
and climb to the one up. It's basically a tutorial level, more or less. Oh. Like, it's too late for that, Rapallo. Guess what happens next? No. That's what it does if you step this into it. How we get rid of snitches. Okay. Anyone asks, you just ran through. Yeah, Alrighty. Couldn't stop it. Alrighty. Alright, that's you. Ah, uh, then it saw me? Okay, that's not good. Now, I'm actually not that great at stealth. Or at least the not killing people kind. That actually worked. I didn't expect throwing him into a wall to actually do anything. Okay. Hmm. Is that guy gonna keep going or is he gonna come back around? He's probably gonna come back around. Just oh uh, no, come whatever. Hello? Well, that's not what I wanted. Wow. You just hit your own buddy, you Yep. What's with these people hitting their own buddies? This hand of yours is worth sweet. Okay, that guy's about dead, I think. Alright. How'd that work? Okay. You're still oblivious. They're still oblivious. That somehow went... Could have gone better, but it went pretty good, considering. You know, the fact that I... Yeah, so... There is no wall of light there. Okay. Oh! I meant to cancel. I didn't. Took a lot of damage really quickly for a second. But everything is okay now. Right? How's this working? Don't you next time. There we go. Okay. 
So they were interrogating this guy, and by interrogating, I mean possibly torturing. But still interrogating. Bone charm, okay. That's it. Bobby Mindy sent me. Oops. Secret dates. Meet me at the usual place tomorrow night. Bring the drawings. M. Rift in the void. The dark sky without stars. Uh. Uh, not again. I wanna... There we go. Bonk. Okay, so I figured out a new tactic. Throw him into the wall. So these guys have a... Alright. They have runes. Raw whalebone. I can use those to make my own bone charms. Strong lungs. I guess that lets me breathe underwater. Not breathe underwater. I meant hold my breath for longer. Breathe underwater. Ah, screw this. Okay. Also, running around with a dead body is a good way to get civilians upset. So if you care about that, I don't, but they'll go off, find guards, tell them. Again, yeah, they're not screaming because dead bodies. Also, I think some of the whalers will get kind of mad if at you for doing that and start attacking you. <sighs> I want you to go somewhere else. I forgot about that the first time. That person's cowering in fear. I do not necessarily blame them. I'll just be waiting. Ah, where's the where's the body? Where's the body? There's the body. Do it, buddy. I dare you. You don't stand a chance anyway. Come on, I don't have time for games. Hi. This time I'll get you. Body? No. <clears throat> Accept your fate, miscreant. Yeah. That's not right. Help me. Someone. All right, screw this. Hey, who is? Oh, you're still alive. Yep, you're no longer alive. Where are these guys coming from? I thought I killed all of them. Yes. Got him. And she's just gonna bury him. Good job. Take this. 
Not sure why she was acting all secret. It's like sliding assassination as I was trying to do that, and I failed miserably. Wait. Haha, <laughs> shot your buddy in the back. Dark! Okay, once I get to the next area, I will probably end this. Maybe so. All oh, red ones. <laughs> get in, get in, get in. Carriage. Haha, you'll never take me alive, suckers. Just throw a brick at me. <laughs> Later. Smooth getaway. Alright. Yep, my moral compass is telling me I am lethal and assault. So, sure, I don't know what that means. Okay. Saving. I'll wait till it stops. This game, looks, this game looks pretty. Also, can I do anything about that motion blur? Because I, I kind of see it now that the guy pointed it out. Okay. Alright, so... I think I'm done with this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments. Leave a like. Always, if there's anything I could do to improve, let me know that as well. I always enjoy feedback. Stay tuned for more videos if you're interested. And if so, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.